Big John, Big John. Every morning at the mine you could see him arrive. He stood six foot six and weighed two forty five. Kind of broad at the shoulder and there at the hip. Everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John, Big John. Nobody seemed to know where John called home. He just drifted into town and stayed all alone. Didn't say much, he kind of quiet and shy. If he spoke at all, he just said hi, Big John. Somebody said he came from New Orleans where he got in a fight over a Cajun queen. A crashing blow from a huge right hand sent a Louisiana fellow to the promised land. Big John. Big John, Big Bad John, Big John. Then came the day at the bottom of the mine when a timber cracked and the men started crying. Miners were praying and hearts beat fast. Everybody thought they'd breathe their last sip, John. Through the dust and the smoke of this mad-made hell walked a giant of a man that the miners knew well. Grabbed a sagging timber and gave out with a groan like a giant old tree just stood there alone. Big John. Big John. Big John. Big Bad John. Big John. And with all of his strength, he gave a mighty shove. Then a miner yelled out, "There's a light up above!" Twenty men scramble from a would-be grave. Now there's only one left down there to save Big John. The Jackson Timbers they started back down. Then came that rumble way down in the ground, and the smoke and gas belched out of that mine. Everybody knew it was the end of the line for Big John. Big John. Big John, Big Bad John, Big John. Now they never reopened that worthless pit. They just placed a marble stand in front of it. These few words are written on that stand. At the bottom of this mine lies a big, big man, Big John. Big John. Big John, Big Bad John, Big John, Big John, Big John, Big John.